spring forward to daylight saving time, moving our clocks ahead one hour. While we do gain an extra hour of sunlight, we're also losing an hour of sleep, which of course we all know can be rough. But did you know there are actually foods that you can eat to help you fall asleep faster, sleep deeper, and stay asleep longer? This is so cool. <laughs> Joining us live now from Chicago is lifestyle expert Karina Heinrich. First of all, Karina, hey, good morning. Hey. Many of Thanks us for having me back. Yeah, many of us are already struggling with a good night's sleep uh, for whatever reason. So I'm so excited to kind of incorporate this. And the timing couldn't be better because yeah. we're springing forward. Um, first exactly. of all, how much, how much sleep do we should we get? I, I'm thinking my six to seven hours is pretty good. Well, it's recommended that adults get at least seven to nine hours of uninterrupted sleep each and every night, but most struggle to even get four to five hours. I know being a mom of three, the struggle is real, so it's hard. And what are the foods that can help us sleep better? Because I, now that we know we're not alone, how can we yeah. divide this up to uh, actually get a little bit better sleep using food? Yeah, we're really lucky because there are foods that contain nutrients that regulate hormones and brain chemicals. One of my favorites to start the day out with is bananas. They're one of the only fruits that are really high in serotonin, some of which our body converts to melatonin. So both of these together give you a good night's sleep. Just one small banana with a teaspoon of almond butter mm. is really mm. also high in melatonin. Eating two to three hours before bed. So you don't want to eat it too close to bed or that can interrupt sleep. So there's a happy time spot there delicious low calorie but also that combination will improve your sleep so it's really easy to add into your ritual hey karina it's craig here good morning great to see you i also hear my grandmother used to, I, I, great talking <laughs> with you my grandmother used to love kiwis and she said it would help her sleep do you think that helps absolutely ah. so kiwis may be able to help you sleep faster stay asleep longer and sleep better overall plus they're a natural source of serotonin which not only helps mm. promote that calm and relaxation so your grandma was right it can also help curb your appetite so no more middle of the night snacking oh, hmm, very interesting that. i'm also assuming uh, you know caffeine is not good after a certain hour <laughs> in the day and chocolate's not so great are there any other foods to completely avoid or any others that you've got in your back pocket that if we haven't tried them, we should. <laughs> He's hey. just waking up, see? <laughs> um, okay, so you definitely, if you're a caffeine drinker, which I definitely am, you wanna cut that off at least by noonish if it does interrupt sleep. But I love adding tart cherries and you want real cherries instead of dried if you can find them. Goji berries to your nightly mm. ritual to help you get a better night's sleep. Both of these are full of anti-inflammatory benefits, contain sleep-promoting hormone melatonin. So I use those words a lot. I love adding them to homemade granola, trail mix, giving to them to my family. The key is cutting off all food and drink at least two to three hours before bed. So that's a, that's a time you should set your alarm on your phone to help remind you to stop, close up the kitchen. Such good information. Yeah. Lifestyle expert Karina Heinrich, thank you so much. Good morning to you Good and morning, your household. Austin. We appreciate it. <laughs>